Imagine this. Isaac Newton is strolling through a tranquil garden, seeking some peace and quiet. He spots a cozy apple tree and decides, why not? He settles under its shade, lost in his thoughts. An apple falls to the ground, but not from the tree he is sitting under, but one just a few meters away. So instead of sparking one of the most revolutionary ideas in human history, Newton just eats it. Now, let's hit the brakes for a second. What if that moment of inspiration, the one that led to the discovery of gravity, never happened? What would the world look like? For starters, we would never reach space. Say goodbye to moon landings, Mars rovers and telescopes peering into the mysteries of the universe. Oh, and satellites? No satellites, no internet, which means you wouldn't even be able to watch this video right now. And texting your friends, calling your family? Forget it. Communication would be stuck in the 1800s. You'd be sending letters by horseback or pigeon. Romantic? Maybe. Efficient? Not so much. Air travel? Yeah. No. Get ready for month-long voyages to cross oceans because gravity's understanding is the foundation of modern aviation. And let's not even start on the domino effect this would have on other fields. Engineering, medicine, and even the way we grow our food. And it all comes back to one man under one tree. If Newton hadn't connected the dots that day, would someone else have? Probably. But he was the kicker. This word probably is doing a lot of heavy lifting. This uncertainty is at the heart of chaos theory and butterfly effect. It's the idea that even tiny, seemingly insignificant changes in initial conditions, like Newton choosing the wrong tree, can completely alter the course of history. Let's fast forward a few centuries to the 1960s, where another pivotal movement changed science forever, this time in the field of meteorology. Edward Lawrence, a mathematician and meteorologist who unknowingly laid the foundation of chaos theory, was running weather simulations on an early computer. During this, Lawrence discovered something extraordinary. He used to run simulations on weather using data with 12 variables and 12 equations. Things like wind speed, temperature, humidity, pressure and all. The breakthrough happened when he wanted to redo a run. To use a shortcut, he made a tiny change in one of the initial conditions. He entered 0.506 instead of 0.506127. He put the simulation to run, went to get a cup of coffee. When he came back, he came back to something extremely unexpected. He got dramatically different results in his predictions. Basically, a complete different prediction of weather just because of a tiny change. Lawrence, for his simulations of weather, used a simple model based on these sets of equations to describe the movement of air. These equations might look intimidating, so let's break it down so they are easy to understand. The variables x, y and z represent variables like air velocity, temperature or pressure, things that change over time. The constants sigma, rho and beta are parameters that define how these variables interact with each other. As we discussed earlier, Lorentz just changed one of these variables in one slice of data. But then, the predictions diverged completely from what he had gotten previously. It was as if the system had its own mind. This sensitivity to initial conditions is the hallmark of chaos theory. It's called the butterfly effect based on a poetic idea that a butterfly flapping its wings in Brazil might, weeks later, cause a tornado in Texas, which was literally the title of Lorenz's groundbreaking paper about this topic. Lorenz's findings reshaped science. His famous Lorenz attractor, a swirling three-dimensional figure, became a symbol of chaos theory. And the shape of this figure, well, resembles the wings of a butterfly. This shape shows how a system evolves over time, even though it is deterministic, which means it follows a fixed set of rules. It's impossible to know where the system is going to end up in the future. The many parts of this swirling pattern that you see are all caused by tiny changes in the start, so these curves represent all of the different possibilities. So what does this mean for us? It explains why weather forecasts can't go beyond a week with accuracy. Even if you measure today's conditions down to the millimeter, Tiny errors in measurements get amplified, making long-term predictions impossible. But chaos isn't just about the weather. It's why stock markets can be so volatile, why ecosystems can shift suddenly, and even why heart rhythms or brain waves might become irregular. Chaos is all around us, shaping systems as complex as economics, biology, and even human behavior. In essence, chaos theory shows us a surprising truth about our universe. It is ruled by laws. But those laws can lead to outcomes that seem extremely random. It's a dance of predictability and unpredictability. I studied a course on nonlinear dynamics and chaos in the third year of my university, and to be honest, it was by far my favorite course. 
If you want to study this topic in more detail and more mathematically, I would suggest you to check out this book called Nonlinear Dynamics and Chaos written by Strogatz. Although you'll need to have a grasp over multivariable calculus, differential equations and a little bit of linear algebra to be able to complete this book. But if you're just interested in getting an introduction, you can just check out the first few chapters of this book. So, the next time you hear about the butterfly effect or chaos theory, remember that it's not just randomness. It's about the profound, intricate beauty of a universe where even the tiniest actions can create endless possibilities. This is a big idea in all of our lives. We often imagine, what if I'd chosen to do this instead of that? What if I'd just bought 10 bitcoins in 2010? What if my parents had never met? So all in all, life is unpredictable and well, short. So make that decision you've put off for so long. Take up that course you've always wanted to do. Go ask that person out if you've been waiting for it. Who knows, 5-10 to 10 years down the line, your life will look completely different to what it is right now. So if you ever think that your choices don't matter, now you know that they do.